assalamu alaikum guys what's up what's going on in this video i'll show you how to uh, make a port forwarding uh, for valorant on ptgl broadband <clears throat> you can apply these tricks on every router it's easy i'll guide you proper in this video you can easily apply these settings on your uh, router so first of all you need to open your uh, cmd then right click on it and run as administrator once you run this simply you need to type here the ip config hit enter and now you need to make sure you need to copy this ipv4 address and default gateway okay you can also copy these or just minimize it so later on you can copy from here now the second step is simply access your router configuration page so if you don't know just check out your router box or on the back side of router all the information is given just go ahead and copy and paste and then log in simply that's easy method everyone can simply do it now in this section we need to find uh, port forwarding options now mostly let me show you here since each router configuration page is different you may have to do some digging for the next step find a page with one of these name so might be its port forwarding or virtual server or net or applications it may under advanced settings or advanced setup so that's so easy simply i'm going here advanced setup and then you can see here net so in my case it's net in your case uh, as mentioned here the virtual server application or port forwarding so simply you need to find that now virtual setup as they also mentioned here virtual server or virtual setup is the common thing so virtual server setup now just click on add <coughs> user interface now in my case i have a lot of interface but a lot of routers don't uh, give you like these settings simply you will see here these settings the custom service or service in my case i'm gonna select it on ptcl broadband uh, routers now uh custom service select a service so if you are playing on these kind of games from here so you can easily configure your you know game from here but in case if you if your game is not listed here as valorant is not listed here so i'm going here with custom custom service so here you need to type any name for example i'm typing here services <coughs> or service and now server ip address now here is the main thing that <coughs> ip config <coughs> in the first method i have uh, tell you about the ip config <coughs> you need to copy ipv4 address copy from here and then simply you need to paste it here now you can see here external port start external port end, and then an internal port start and internal port and just forget the internal and external just forget these things that's more easy to clear yourself what we need to do is right now as they mentioned here in this example above you uh, will have to click add custom service so i have already click on it custom service type any name and then here is the server IP address that uh, comes, uh, you can check here easily. Now, external port start. So, let's start from here. This is the UDP and this is for voice chat. Okay, so we are going here with the first UDP. So, it started from 7000 to 8000 and game client uh, should start 810880 and 8181. So, we need to just paste it here. 7000 to 8000 and as i said it's tcp and udp so select it and now sorry it's only udp so simply you need to go here select it on udp and now 8180 and 8181 so simply 8180 and 8181 that's it now below if you see here voice chat so simply you can just type here the 50 port from 
you know six five zero 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 something anyways i'm not gonna add this you do not need to open the entire range just 54 with it for example you might forward for sixty one thousand to six one zero five zero okay so basically this is the way anyways uh, i'm not adding this that's not important i'll show you why as you can see here southeast asia so this is the my exact y sport 54000 to 54012 so simply i'm adding here 54000 to 5412 i guess okay 54012 okay now it's tcp or udp you can see her udp so simply go here and select it on udp now scroll down a bit and um, service name weather and game client so that's not important you can simply just type any name that's not important now in the end you can see here the port setting but in my case on ptcl you don't need to uh, paste your port you need to paste only server ip address that's it but uh, if you have port option then simply here is your uh, sorry gateway default then simply you can see here, here is your gateway default so you can simply copy it from here and then paste over there anyways now this is the simple way guys simply click on apply and save uh, please enter a port value oh, okay missing something missing here is the further so you can just fill them and let's add some these just paste here and then copy this and paste it here that's it now uh, spectator mode if you want to add this simply you need to type 8000 to 8088 so this is the way you can simply add the spectator mode if you are facing trouble while spectating that's it now some other things we can add valorant game client so i have already added this there's nothing to add anymore that's it okay guys that's it now simply you need to save your or get it's a time limit so before the time you need to fill it here is my net clicking again on it And that's it guys this is the final your setting you can delete others or just leave them that's not a big issue just close it now and restore your router once and your problem should be solved i hope you like this video hit the subscribe button and share it with friend if you have any question just let me know in the comment section so i'll guide you properly see you see you in the next video till then just take yourself a lot of peace bye bye